Here is the easiest way to create your own GPTs without ChatGPT Plus and without spending $20 a month. Not having access to GPTs is a massive disadvantage for anyone in the AI space right now, as you're not only unable to build your own GPTs for personal and business use, but you're also unable to develop your skills as a GPT developer, which I believe will be one of the most valuable skills in 2024. Luckily for you, in this video, I'll be showing you a dead simple way to get access to build, use, and share your own GPTs without ChatGPT Plus and for a fraction of the cost. If you're new to the channel and don't know who I am, my name is Liam Otley. I run my own AI development company called Morningside AI. And I also run the largest community of AI agency owners in the world, where my students learn how to make money by selling AI solutions to businesses, just like the GPTs that you're about to build. Let's get started. In order to start creating your own GPTs without ChatGPT Plus, you need to sign up to my new platform called Agentive, which at the moment is free for the time being, but there is about a 48 to 72 hour delay to get in. So there's a little bit of a wait list as we onboard users, but in the description, you can sign up so that you can follow along with this when you're ready. This is the sign up and login screen here. So you can click on join waitlist so you can get access, but I already have an account so I can jump in and log into the studio here. And this is where we're going to be building our GPTs and how you can chat to them in this interface here. In order to show you what GPTs you can build on Agentive and how it works, I'm going to be creating a Charlie Munger investing assistant, which is going to have a bunch of documents based on Charlie Munger's um, investing principles, which rest in peace to Charlie Munger. He passed away early this year, I believe. So in order to bring him back to life, we're going to be taking a bunch of his, his wisest sayings and, and principles for investing, putting those into PDF documents that have taken off the internet somewhere. And then I'm going to give that as a knowledge base. And then also to show you how we can add tools to our GPTs on Agentive, I'm going to be doing a, a stock data fetcher. So you can pass in a stock ticker, say Apple, and then you can get the stock data for that. So you can have a handy Charlie Munger GPT here on Agentive to use. The way this works is that Agentive uses the Assistant API to allow you to build your own GPTs on top of it. And all we do is give you an interface to build it and chat to it that no other platform offers right now. However, in order to unlock this GPT-4 1106 preview model, which is needed to create your own GPT on something like Agentive, you need to first go to platform.openai.com and we need to unlock your account so you can get full access to all the models available. So if I log in here or create an account if you haven't already, and then we go to the side here and click on uh, settings, and we can go to billing. And here you'll see that I already have topped up $15 into my account and I've added a payment method. So what you need to do to get your models unlocked so you can use Agentive and start creating your own GPTs is just to add a payment method here, then add at least $5 worth of credit here using this recharge. And I'd also recommend you turn on the auto recharge so that if you use up all of those $5, it will automatically top you up. So be aware that as you are using this, you will be billed for API costs. So just keep an eye on this to see how quickly you're spending that. Once you've added some credit, you can go to the assistance tab here and we can double check that you have the model activated. If we go create, I click on the model dropdown, you should see GPT-4 1106 preview. If you see that, you're ready to go back to Agentive and get started in creating your own GPT. To get started, I can click Create Assistant up here and it lets me know that I have created a new assistant. Uh, let's call it Munger GPT, That's pretty cool. Charlie Munger wisdom for your investing decision. This description doesn't have anything to do with the actual functionality, it's more for sharing it as I show you in a second. Then we have instructions which I've already pre-written. So with that prompt being done, telling it how to use the knowledge and the tools we're going to use, I can go to the knowledge section and I can upload some files. Here I've got a couple of files that I'm going to put in. I'm just going to give it a second to populate those in and they take a little while to process as well. So we'll give that a second and we'll head over to our tools and start setting up our single tool which can fetch a stock data by its ticker. In order to get the stock data, I'd searched up a free stock data API and I found this one called Alpha Vantage and I went on here and I got a free API key, provided my details here, got my free API key and I headed back to the documentation which I went down to the quote endpoint because it looked like if I click on this, it shows me the kind of data that I'm going to get. Okay, this is going to give me um, the symbol, the open, the high, the low, the price, the volume, etc. So in here is a bunch of data that's pretty handy for what I want to do. In order to connect an API like this as a tool, we need, of course, an open API schema that explains to our assistant, to, to the open AI APIs, how to call it and what information we need to send off to it in order to get what we want back. So the little trick to doing this is taking some information like this, um, going over to ChatGPT, our good friend, saying I need an open API schema for this API. Hold on. And then I put in this information here that which tells it how to call it. It's also helpful to give it an example output. So I can click on this here as I did before and say, okay, let's copy this and I'll come down and say, here is an example output. And one thing to notice, this does get a little bit tricky sometimes is the API keys. If we go back to the documentation, we can see here that it has API key as a, a parameter in the URL in order to get ChatGPT to give us the right one out. I like to put in, uh, do not include the API key as a parameter in the schema. It will be provided elsewhere. 
And what I also like to do is provide an example of a tool. So you can come back to Agentive here and we can go to uh, upload a tool and then we can click on predict age here. If I go remove, I can copy this and then paste it back in here. Here is an example of a open API schema. Copy this style exactly. And I can paste it in there. So we have three components. This is an excellent thing for you to learn as you're starting to create more GPTs and becoming more advanced as a GPT developer. It's how you can convert any API you find into a tool. And this is a basic way to do it using ChatGPT. So I give it how to call it. I also give it an example of the output from the API. Then I give it any extra instructions needed like this API key part. Then I provide it with an example of a working one that we want to copy. So all of this, the prompt and everything that I cover within this video, if you're trying to follow along, will be available on my free resource hub down below. So you can click down there, sign up, and you'll find it down the bottom on the left panel. And you'll be able to get everything that I've mentioned in this video so that you can make the same one. So if I hit enter here, give it a second, it's going to generate me the schema. Okay, so it's spat this out, but I'm not too happy with some of the descriptions here. It is important that you get the right tone and, and use of words on here. It just keeps talking about global quote data and it's called the function get global quote. I'd actually prefer it to be get stock data by ticker. It's a much more obvious name for what it's doing. Uh, can you modify it to be called get stock data by ticker? And all the descriptions should mention that this allows the user to get stock data by a provided ticker. And now we have an updated version that I'm confident to use because it's a lot more accurate in all of these written descriptions as to what we're trying to do here. So I can click copy up the top right, come back to Agentive, and I can come to the tool section and click upload tool, paste this in here. And then we need to set up the authentication for this particular API, which we can do by clicking here. And we know it has an API key because it has it in this documentation here. So API key, we want to click on API key. And then we need to get the API key that I showed you how to get earlier. And I can paste it in here. And then the query parameter name is not API underscore key in this case. You can see that it is API key. So we can go API key, update authentication, create tools, give it a second. And we see that our knowledge documents have finished processing. Uh, now we're good to go on the tool side of things. So we can click update here, save our assistant, give it a little refresh and start talking to it and make sure it's all working. What can you help me with? Because we are using the assistance API, we only have a little buffering symbol here. We don't actually get to stream the data in as you're used to with ChatGPT. That's one difference between this and what you're used to on the ChatGPT builder if you've used that, is that we don't get a, a nice stream of data. It just comes in in big lumps like that. I can assist you with a wide range of investing related inquiries um, in the principles and wisdom of Charlie Munger. Additionally, if you have questions about specific stock tickers, I have a tool that can fetch real-time stock data. So if I go, right, how's Microsoft doing? Now it's going to attempt to call the tool that we've created. Great, so Microsoft are trading at blah, 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 blah. And we've got a bunch of information back. Um, so our stock ticker tool is working correctly. Now we can go, what are your top three investing principles for beginners? And see if the knowledge base is working and using the documents we've provided. And there we go, based on Charlie Munger's wisdom, here are three important investing principles for beginners to consider. And we have a couple things, sit on your ass investing, avoiding over leveraging, etc. You know the knowledge base is working when you see these source things popping up, so that it's actually getting it from the knowledge base, not just from its general knowledge. And that's pretty much it. We've been able to create our own GPTs, and this one in the style of Munger GPT, with both tools and cuts and knowledge added. And now we're able to practice building GPTs without access to ChatGPT+. And what's more, Agentive is great in that it allows you to easily deploy this onto things like websites. If you click this button here, we have a website tab here, which shows you how to easily put this onto a website. We have even tutorials to walk you through it up here how to deploy to websites with voice flow, and probably more important for you if you are looking to just use it for GPTs, we do have a share button here, so you can turn on share links, you can copy this, and you can send it to anyone you want, as long as they're able to sign up and get access to Agentive, they'll be able to use your GPTs as if you've shared them on the ChatGPT site. And that's all for the video. I hope you're able to get in here, start building your GPTs and sharing them around with whoever you want, putting them on the websites wherever you need to do that. I know some of the tooling that I showed in here might seem a little bit advanced for some of you, but I do have a ton of content coming on tooling, how to understand them, how to build custom ones, how to use other people's APIs as tools, etc. So if you want to learn about that and learn how you can make your GPTs even more powerful, so you can sell them to businesses or really enhance your own GPTs for your own business use, be sure to subscribe down below. And while you're there, if you've enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. It really helps me and my channel out. And while you're down there, leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see more. If you have any questions about Agentive, I'd love to hear them. And of course, as I mentioned, all of the resources required to create the same GPT are going to be available on my free resource hub so you can sign up down there get access and copy exactly what I've done here. If you want to see a tutorial of me putting this on a website, I have a video here that I've just posted that you can watch. But aside from that, that's all for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.